Hello besties, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Vaya Loren, for those of you that are new here, what's up, what's up, and how's it going? Today we're doing a first impressions on my Sephora sale picks purchases. Um, that being said, it is my first year shopping as a Rogue member. She was an Ulta girl. And now Sephora is growing on her. So yeah, first time ever hitting Rogue. And I'm like, the thing is, is like for me, I always got stuff set in PR and stuff. I never went out of my way to like buy my own things. But I've acquired a certain taste for some makeup now. And like, there's just so many new makeup out that I was like, I need to splurge. And I bought so many good things that I've just been dying to try. A lot of them are like Instagram viral, TikTok viral, because now we know that's the trend now. So, but I'm excited to share with you guys if you're looking to buy some new Sephora products from the sale, or if you're looking for some new makeup, or if you just wanna like get the vibes, you know, hang out with me, chill, and let time go by if you're like doing something. Okay, let's get started with the video. Sephora favorite haul, purr, purr. Got my cafecito. I like it. one o'clock in the afternoon. It's a type of morning girl, but two orders of the Sephora. Well, actually, I ordered it myself and then I ordered myself to go to the store and get it. <laughs> Guys, I got my hair done. It's been like literally like eight months. So I'll show you when I'm done. But let's get started into this because I am so happy. Look at this. I'm so happy about all these selects and new makeup. It's just it's different when you go out of your way to like buy your own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially as a content creator. Or just obviously like nature of the job to like get stuff for free. Ooh, let's take everything out because if I leave it in the bag, girl, I will not. I will not use it. I bought this Beauty Blender Besties. It's twenty two dollars and it comes with a starter set, so you get your blender, the bag, uh, cleaning soap, and the little cleaning pad. So I got it for traveling. I don't know why. I just haven't done this yet, but I'm at the point in my life where I need to just pick up my luggage, throw my clothes in it, and go. So right now I'm focusing on building like a toiletries bag, a bag for like my makeup, my hair. So that's what I bought it. So it comes with a brand new video in there for $22, not bad. But I think everything else I'm gonna use, and then these are the best cotton. Oh, just like, you know that feeling with cotton? Like I never used to, oh my God. <laughs> I love them, but Jason gave me the ick for it. Like just like the sound of like the touch of it when it's dry. But yeah, let's get started with some stuff. And then this right here is like a facial cleansing brush that Sephora used to have like a pink one that um, it was like so good they discontinued it. So they made a new one, it's like a cleansing brush. So I'm gonna use this for my travels as well. See how I like it. And then if I love it, I'll add it to like my everyday like makeup routine. So I'm gonna put that there. So yeah, let's get started with the makeup. All right guys, so I prepped my skin and then I did my eyebrows and my eyeshadow lashes so i have everything that i use for prep down below i'm actually gonna sit this way because oh, i'm in there right here i feel like this is a good filming situation because i'm sitting it's a little bit angled i have a mirror in front of me i am going to start with my foundation which is a newer foundation that i didn't necessarily buy myself from the sale but i know it's new on sephora so that's why i wanted to include it it is the NARS um, new light reflecting foundation right here. I got the shade Valencia. I got color match once at a NARS event and they told me this is my tan shade and I was like, purr. So I don't know if it, because I, here she is. I'm just going to do two on each side because I want like the most full coverage. But guys, I have been obsessed with the CC Nude Glow. Their Skin Bell Better from It Cosmetics. This is so freaking good. So if you're looking for a less full coverage foundation. Definitely get this one, but um, this one's like my tan shade. Hence why I'm going to use it. And then I'm gonna be taking my current favorite foundation brush from It Cosmetics. It is the Duo Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection. But yeah, this foundation is so good. It lasts all day. And Nars has always had like my favorite like full coverage foundations. And I don't think I've ever found a better match for like when I'm tan. I would usually look a little bit more on the orange side of things, but this one gives me enough warmth where it's still like not orange and it's like a neutral warm shade. It just looks so pretty on the skin guys, look at that. It looks amazing. Va va boom, we love that. What is this right here? It says cream bronzer and I have cream blush. So I have this cream blush from Refai Beauty. It is the shade Citrine and it's like a pretty like orangey shade. So I have this that I picked up from the sale but I did pick up another cream blush that I'm actually gonna use. It is the Rare Beauty in the shade Encourage which is really, really pretty. And then I grab this cream bronzer from Refai as well. Oh, it's so pretty. I love, love cream products. So I'm taking this brush. Oh my God, it's so new. Oh, this is my first shade. Oh, that's really pretty. I feel like it's dark enough 
but subtle for like my darker like foundation shade i for some reason i thought it was gonna be like full coverage i mean i'm sorry for some reason i thought it was going to be like a light coverage situation but so far it's a little bit more intense than i expected which i love it has a little bit more coverage i love the formula for sure i actually do have the refi brush i just didn't want to use it because it's so nice and clean but i'm gonna use it for the blush so yeah this is really really good and look how pretty it looks it doesn't like take off the makeup underneath blends really naturally very very pretty so i am gonna take the rare beauty blush i love the packaging from rare beauty this is the first time i tried anything it's a little purple too much blush don't know i wanted to get another shade but didn't have it available so i just took what i could get and i'm just gonna take the refi brush it's so pretty i don't wanna i don't wanna use it oh she's purple Ooh. oh my god this may be the best dual fiber brush i have ever tried do you guys see how pretty this is blending to my skin oh my god this brush is everything guys because it's i don't know what it is about it's just so delicate it's it's so like fanned out as you guys can see and big so it disperses the product very evenly and it blends it it's so nice I'm gonna add a little bit to my chin, my nose, and like under my eyes. People are doing that with blush, and then I'm gonna. This looks gorgeous. I wonder what this one's for. Probably like other stuff, <laughs> obviously. Okay, now it's going with concealer. I'm taking the Dior Skin Correct Concealer. Also, you can get it from the Sephora. So, it's been the only concealer I've used for the past like couple of months. Dampened up a sponge and then I'm just going to blend the concealer like in the middle of my face. I want to take away from like the blush or bronzer. With this concealer, as you can see, it's very like full coverage and it just covers. I'm gonna go back with that blush brush and like further blend everything out. I'm telling you guys, this brush is definitely this blush is definitely a must. Wow, everything looks so pretty. Okay, now we're gonna do liquid highlighter later, but Let's set the face real quick. Taking my Laura Mercier loose powder that I just love in the door. And if you guys haven't tried setting your face with like a powder puff like this, like fluff, you're missing out. It's the best way to like set your makeup. Especially when you have like cream products because it sets it, but it still leaves like some kind of like sheer like shine on your face to where it's not completely matte. But it's pressing the powder gently enough to where it's like doing its job. And then also here on my forehead, but it's gonna still like luminous. So I just like pat it gently over the cream products you can still like see them i'm gonna go ahead and spray my face after powder just to really marry and melt all the products together i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some mascara bottom lashes immediately no oh my god do i let it sit or do i just wipe it off right now i'm gonna make an executive decision to just wipe it off oh my god nothing happened here there you go that worked out okay so now we're gonna go in with some bronzer like a little bit of like that bronzer to warm up the skin i was like setting my cream products i did get this givenchy givenchy powder right here it is the prince libre the voil rose voil rose it's like leather the packaging is like leather are you for it right now i've just seen it i think on like tiktok or something i'll use it my moment so I just go in with the puff. So it's like four shades of pink together. Oh my god. This powder smells like perfume. If you're sensitive to fragrances, maybe like smell it in person. But when I tell you guys, oh my god, look, it's like the little imprints. This powder smells and feels so good. I've never tried like a pink tone like loose powder before. And it's so pretty on the skin. Like you guys see that? It's not like that stark, like translucent, whitish. It kind of like warms up the complexion a little more definitely obsessed with this okay i love 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 i do want to get like the other shades as well because wow that powder experience with 10 out of 10 my skin looks super flawless even though i have that blemish right there skin is looking good now we're gonna go with this blush palette i hope it's really like this is at sephora i'm gonna you know add it to my tutorial just so you guys get the full look this palette right here it is the afterglow i'm pretty sure i've seen it there i'm just gonna mix a couple shades together I just love for a good blush moment these days. Ooh, we gotta blend this more, sister. So we have two liquid highlighters that I wanted to try out. It is the Rare Beauty Outshine Shine and the Refi Gloss Highlighter in Topaz. So let's just swatch them really quickly. This was giving like true gold, like iridescent vibes. More on like the liquidy side, but it's still really, really pretty, not as intense. I think the Revive is giving the Revive. The Refi is giving me like more intense creamy vibes. Oh, this is like more like 
rose gold kind of vibes you guys see the difference in the two the refi one's more like intense how i figured so i don't know which one i want to use i think i'm going to go with the refi because it's like the one that's catching my attention more i'm just going to like tap it in okay that's really pretty i love it i'm gonna do a little bit more because i'm obsessed it's a very like wet formula and i feel like it melts into the powder so nicely for a very like natural glossy look I love it. And then I'm gonna just go like that. I don't know what I said there. I have this blender from Makeup Forever. It's in the shade Endless Cacao. And it's like more of like a grayish, mauve like undertone for the lips. But I really like how it makes my lips look. I like it because it gives like a cool tone look to the lips. But I'm gonna go in with like a warmer lip liner. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip liners ever from Sephora. It is the Travis from Makeup Mario. It's like amazing. It just adds a little bit more warmness to the lip. And then the key that I've been doing recently is like buff oh! buffing out my lip liner because it gives it like a softer look. And I feel like the lipstick just like looks better on top of it. So you want to buff it until you can no longer see like the line like that. And then now we're going to try this gloss that I've heard so much about for so much time. And now it's finally mine. It is a Dior Lip Maximizer Hydro Hyaluronic Lip Plumper. There she is. She's cute. Mm. Smells like any other gloss, but it smells like it's gonna give. It's gonna give plumpness for sure. I'm not a gloss girl at all, but who is she right now? Oh, this looks so pretty. I mean, look at my lips. I already feel them like a little bit like working, like the plumpness. And the key for me is not applying lip gloss like all the way up to like the lip line because it just runs, but I just apply it like literally to the center of the bottom and the top. I don't know. I never wear gloss, so it's like weird for me, but. I think it's really pretty and then to finish things off i'm gonna use oh no this is not it it was sold out but i grabbed the one size go off makeup dissolving mist for my travel kit because project star is just like amazing with makeup and i've seen this product worked on other people and i was in store and it removed all my swatches from my hand i'm like convinced but i do want to get his mattifying setting spray it was sold out but i'll link it for you guys because it is such a good product that's like viral um but yeah i grabbed this as well from this sale and uh yeah let me get my life together and fix up this hair real quick and i'll be right back all right besties i got myself together honestly guys i am so obsessed with all of this makeup products that i got i don't think there's anything that i'm like Mm, questioning it a little bit i cannot wait to further keep trying them on but i did want to try them on for you guys so tutorial so you guys can see my first impressions but with all that being said i will have other products that i use listed down below for you guys along with their links shade names and anything that you need to know let me know in the comments if you guys buy any of these products from the sephora sale or if you're trying to buy them make sure to follow me on tiktok instagram pinterest at valley lauren and that way you guys can keep up with me coachella is coming up pretty soon my first time going so there's definitely gonna be a vlog we have a cool spot to stay going with some friends it's gonna be a good good time so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys loved it and as always muchos besitos y abrazos i'll see you besties on the next one bye guys